This educational video is brought to you by www.drowad.com. In preparation for surgery, contact lenses should be removed at least three days before the procedure, and sometimes up to one to two weeks, if your doctor judged necessary. Also, avoid wearing eye makeup starting the day before the procedure. During the LASIK or the laser surface ablation procedure, you will be lying down at all times and looking up at the laser system positioned on top of your face. Anesthetic drop will be used to numb your eyes and make you totally comfortable throughout the procedure. A small speculum or eyelid spreader will be inserted between your eyelids to prevent you from closing your eye. You will be asked to look at a green blinking light. When it's time for the laser to work, you will be notified and you should look at the blinking light at all times. The laser, however, will follow your eye in case it moves and will completely stop if it moves far out. Once you look at the light again, the laser will continue exactly where it left off. Looking at the light, however, will ensure uninterrupted smoother treatment. The procedure will take around five minutes per eye. After LASIK, you can resume normal activity like driving, reading, and computer work the second day of the surgery. You need to keep your sunglasses when out for one week. You will need to use lubrication drops as needed for several weeks to several months. After laser surface ablation, you will experience blurry vision as well as episodic light sensitivity, burning, and tearing for up to three days. You should be able to drive and work on computers within five to seven days. However, vision for near will be much more comfortable after two weeks of the procedure. Vision will keep improving with time and it reaches its peak on average of three to four months. After either procedure, you need to avoid eye rubbing for one month and direct water contact to the eye for one week. Try to avoid direct splashing your eyes while washing your face or showering as much as possible for one week and avoid swimming for three to four weeks. Additionally, no eye makeup should be applied till after three weeks. After surgery, you will be using antibiotics and anti-inflammatory drops four times a day and lubrication drops as needed, and they will be tapered and stopped according to your doctor's instructions. As a summary, LASIK may cause minimal discomfort the day of surgery. It provides fast visual recovery to around 90% vision right from the next day, as patients can drive and go back to work. Additional visual improvement occurs within a week or two. Laser surface ablation causes mild to moderate discomfort for up to three days after surgery and has a slower visual recovery of five to seven days before complete resumption of normal daily activity, like driving and office work, with even more comfortable reading ability within two weeks. Further improvements keep developing over several months. When measured after three to four months, final vision and success rate are equal between the two procedures. Long-term results are also essentially the same. As a rough average, 97% will be spectacle or eyeglasses free, meaning their error is within plus or minus 0.5 diopter. Of the remaining, around 1-2% to of patients might need an enhancement procedure due to a residual error or a regression. A regression is when a small fraction of the error resurfaces after several months of successful treatment. A residual error is any error larger than plus or minus 0.5 diopter that remains after treatment. Combined, regression and residual error develop in around 3% of treated eyes as rough average. Regression seldom develops after six months to one year. Hence, visual results after surgery are considered stable after six months to one year. Your ophthalmologist will recommend to you the procedure that suits you best based on your initial evaluation and results of your eye tests. You might temporarily experience dry eyes for a few weeks to several months. Symptoms include episodic foreign body sensation and occasional blurry vision and visual fluctuation, especially during reading and computer work. Using lubrication drops as needed should relieve the symptoms till the eyes get better. Rarely, some patients, especially those with high myopia, might experience some halos around lights or objects at night. These symptoms will improve in the vast majority over the course of several months. 
Rarely, some patients might need a customized LASIK or laser enhancement procedure to relieve the symptoms. Weakening of the cornea or corneal ectasia is a very rare complication that can induce visual errors. Fortunately, it can most often be prevented by a careful preoperative screening and can be treated by different modalities. Flap complications in case of LASIK, like displacement, inflammation, and infection, are rare and can be successfully treated. They can be prevented by adhering to post-operative instructions and following up with your doctor in the first few days. Find more educational videos and patient information material at www.drawad.com.